Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Call Halal Yam, La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Salutation to you, sincere Akim out there, spreading His truth throughout the four corners of the globe in righteousness and sincerity. Starting with the elders of the apostles of GMS on down. Most I willing, uh, this video will be edifying. I just want to touch on um, brotherly love and basically, you know, bearing one another's burdens, man. Bearing your brother's burdens, man. Okay? See in the picture, it says, my brother is a reflection of me. I can't fly if he's falling, right? Now, brother, you can you can uh, quote scriptures all day, man. Hebrews 13, 1, you know, let brotherly love continue. You know what I'm saying? Second Peter's uh, 1, 1 and 7, into, uh, into godliness, brotherly kindness, and... Um, into brotherly kindness, charity. Um, you know, Psalms 133 and 1. Behold how pleasant and how... <clears throat> behold how pleasant and uh, uh, how how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. You could quote those scriptures and you could say it, but that can only be determined from by your actions, man. You know? That can only be determined by actions, not with just your mouth, man. You know? You can sit here and say you'll pray for a brother and, you know what I'm saying, you could sit there and talk to a brother and, you know, tell him everything, you know, just just, just, just hold on and, you know, stay, you know, stay in there and then, and, and, you know, keep striving and, you know, most high provide a way. But if it's actually in your power, if it's actually literally in your power to to to, to lighten the burden of your brother, or to even take the complete burden away, whatever it may be, and you don't do it, that's disgusting, man. That's not that's not brotherly love. That's actual that's that's brotherly hate. Maybe brotherly jealousy, envy, you know what I'm saying? Like why wouldn't you want to help your brother? You know? And that's what's something that, you know, that's what we have we gotta analyze ourselves, you know, every day, including myself, man. You know? Since my brother's a reflection of me. So if I was in a predicament of drowning, I will want my brother to 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 extend his hand, man, and lift me up. You can't assume, man. This this fucking assuming shit is bullshit. Why? Right? You know what I'm saying? Like like in the picture, man. I'm pretty sure this brother didn't assume this brother uh wasn't gonna drown or know how to swim. You know? Nah, nah. He got it. He, he'll get out of there. He could swim up out of there. Cause him, but by that assuming, he'll die, lose his life, man. You know? And then I'll be on your conscience, man. I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll be on your hands, man. <clears throat> Bring another scripture out, man. This is First John, chapter three. Um, I'm start at seventeen. It says, "But whoso hath this world's good, all right, this this world's good, and see if his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, okay." You shut up, you shut up, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him. He dwelleth the love, how dwelleth the love of God in him, which is a question. Because if you have it in your power to bless a brother, and you choose not to have compassion on your brother and do so, the, mo the love of the Most High is not in you, man. You, you need to repent and examine yourself and analyze yourselves, man. You know? Rather be able to house a brother, you know, rather be able to bless a brother financially with the, you know, to lighten his burdens. You see the brothers having troubles and it may not be uh, large troubles, man. The brother may just be, may be hungry, man, you know, and they just, hey, man, um, you know, even if, if, if a brother, brothers ain't got a woman or eaves, man, if, if you, if you having your power to lighten that burden or to, 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 you know what I'm saying? To come through to help that brother, man, do it, man. You know, brother, you know, you probably need to get a haircut, man. You know how to cut hair, they cut it because the brother hair, man. You know, brother may got braids, you know, you, you know, maybe you know someone who could help braid that brother hair. You know what I'm saying? Brother may need help with the rent, and you got it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, throw that, throw that, uh, you know, do that, man. These are examples, man. Everybody, you know, you. People get the get the gist, man. This is the thing. Even if you have uh, five dollars, man, and you ain't got much, 
you know, the most I look at that, that you had a little bit, and you actually, you know, um, took the actual, you, you actually took, you went the extra mile to even do what you can, man. I'm saying if you can't do it, you can't do it, but if you can and it's in your power, man, you'll do it, man. This is verse 18. It says, my little children, let us not love in word. Don't love in word, man. It's your mouth, man. That, 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 that don't, that don't, that ain't nothing, you know? Same thing, with, you'd be just as, as these hypocrites, man. Saying that you love the most high, but keeping out his commandments, not trying to keep his commandments. I mean, you ain't perfect, but you're supposed to be trying, man. And you ain't supposed to be, you know, doing it with your mouth, man, with your word. It says, my children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. <clears throat> That's right, man. And in deed and in truth, you know. That right there it kind of it explains itself, man. Your deeds, man. Help your brother out. Seriously. This is, um, bring another scripture out, man. I'm meditating a couple of scriptures and, you know, like, we all can do better, man. If, if, if we all help each other out, you know, and not think about, you know, because it, it happens, man, you know. You may feel like, hey, what, what can I do? You can always do, man. Don't assume. That's the thing, man. Don't assume, brothers, it's good, man. You got to reach out. You have to reach out, man, and see if what's going on. You know, even just by saying something may like on a lower level, you can may say something that may help a brother out by taking that initiative, man. You know, hey, because brothers may not know their lot. Hey, saying, hey, do you know y'all brothers know y'all lots? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just just by saying, look, brothers is brushing up on the Hebrew. You know. As far as growing in his truth, you know, but how about the things of this world? Like, you know, we got to deal in this world. So we doing the works of, that, of the most high power. So are you doing things that can lighten your brother's burden so he can further push this word? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Bring on that scripture, man. It says uh, back in uh, Psalms 133 and 1, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Understanding like what, man? Like understanding uh, uh, we in this world, but we ultimately are together. We're a band of brothers that are to get that, that are that are together through the power and spirit. Y'all about Shemaya was shy, man. A lot of brothers didn't grow up with each other, you know. I ain't grow up with not one of one of the brothers in my camp, but we are together through the power and spirit. Y'all about Shemaya was shy, one body, man. So we gotta be one body, one mind. You know what I'm saying? If if you got a headache, you know, think about your your fleshly body. If you got a headache, you just gonna ignore your headache. If your knee hurt, you just gonna ignore the fact that your knee hurts, man. If your stomach hurt and you hungry, you just gonna ignore the fact that you, you that that you ain't eat. No, bro. So why would you do that to your brother, man? We one body. You know what I'm saying? That's First Peter's chapter three verse eight. Finally, be ye all. Of one mind, having compassion, having compassion, one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. Don't be looking down at your brother, man. Only time you look down at your brother is you trying to help him. Like in this case, in this picture, man, you gonna look down at your brother. Just, 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 just make sure you you trying to help him, man. You know. <clears throat> In us, uh, scripture, man. This is um in Ecclesiasticus chapter twenty nine. I'm start at um start at eight. It says uh man, if I'm gonna start at seven, it says many therefore have refused to lend for another's uh, uh to lend for other men's ill dealing, fearing to be defrauded. Yet have thou patience with the man in poor estate, and delay not to show him show him mercy. You know, I, you know, in this world, that's the thing of this world, man. Thinking someone gonna get over on you. Oh, I ain't gonna help this. I ain't gonna help him. He probably use it for something else. Oh, I ain't gonna do this. To, I ain't gonna get this brother for it. No, I'm gonna use it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have that thought. You can't have that in your mind, man. 
That's why it says, yet thou, uh, yet have thou patience with the man, you know? You, you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Take take your time, man. Try to spare by the spirit, you know what I'm saying? And But make sure you don't, you don't hesitate to show mercy, so because you, you you hesitate to show mercy, but you want the Most High to show you mercy. How that sound, man? Verse nine it says, "Help the poor for the commandment's sake." Let me read that again. Help the poor for the commandment's sake, and turn him not away because of his poverty. Oh, I I I ain't gonna help this brother, man. This brother always don't got nothing, man. He ain't never got nothing. That's evil, man. That's an evil thought process, man. Verse 10, it says, Lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend, and let it not rust under a stone to be lost. You know what I'm saying? Fuck this money, man. This money is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. It come and it go, man. This money... Man, lose your money for what? For thy brother and thy friend, man. Verse 11, it says, Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. So don't worry about, you know what I'm saying, you you, you know, helping your brother out if, if, if it be financially, you know? Because that's, that's the... That's, you know, that's all it is, man. This world, man, we all going through it, and whatever the case may be, but everybody got their own uh, uh, cross to bear. But if you bless in this world, help a brother out that's not, that's actually doing bad, that's in, that's in a low estate, that's, in, that's poor, that's in poverty. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's in your power, man, you know, you'll get a blessing for that. More profit than gold. In this world, this money is paper. It's not even real money. You got to think about that, man. It says, shut up arms in thy storehouses, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. It shall fight for thee against thine enemies, better than a mighty shield and a strong spear. So helping the brothers out, if you got in your power, hey, yo, Help your brother out, man. It's 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 not only for for your brother to show you, you know, show that you love your brother, but that's the thing, man. Don't do don't be fake about it either. It's cause you think, oh, I'm a I'm a, I'm gonna help this brother out, cause guess what? It's it's gonna fight against my enemies and and then you know, then a better than a mighty shield and a strong spear and no man, do it because you wanna help your friend. Help your brother, help your friend, man. Do it because you sincerely wanna do it in your heart, man. I made me think about another scripture, man. Back in Tobit, man. Love that book. The book of Tobit. Beautiful, man. Um, this is uh in the twelfth chapter, Tobit, the twelfth chapter. We'll start at um start at eight. It says, Prayer is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. Okay? So prayer, fasting, and alms. Being charitable, giving alms, you know what I'm saying? And righteousness. It didn't forget righteousness. It says, and righteousness. It says, a little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. Don't be just giving stuff because you just, you know, you it, 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 and, and don't give stuff in unrighteousness. Put it that way. Give with righteousness. It says, a little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better than, it is, it is better to give alms uh, uh, than to lay up gold. That's right. And it's going and it's going to go and to say the same thing. What? For alms doth deliver from death, and shall purge away all sin. There you go, man. You could cover you. You know what I'm saying? It'll purge your sins, being you know, and giving alms and righteousness, man. It says those that exercise alms and righteousness shall be filled. With life, exercise. What do you do when you exercise, man? You continually do, do, to put uh, put up mad weight and keep doing reps, keep doing reps, reps. Oh, it, it, I, this is nothing now. Huh? This is getting easy. Guess what I gotta do? Put more, put, put more uh, plates on, right? I'm, 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 I'm lift, I'm, I'm lifting uh, two hundred. I'm about to do three hundred now. Forget that. I'm about to lift. I'm about to lift three hundred, two hundred again. Too easy, man. It says. <clears throat> Those that exercise arms and righteousness 
shall be filled with life. You become filled with life, man. Verse 10, but they that sin are enemies to their own life. You know, most I wouldn't have been edifying, man. With that being said, Shalom.